We are now at the Neil 47. Let's go and have a look, shall we? If you don't know and you're new here, the Neil actually made in La Rochelle, a couple of kilometres up there in the middle of town, sort of just over there. And they are trimaran. So you have a monohull sailing sensation, but with the space of a catamaran or sometimes bigger, and you have your pontoons by the side for stability. This is actually a four cabin version. They come in a three cabin version. And as we go through, I'll explain. But here you have your life raft. So if you do happen to go over, it's, well, it's right where you need to get it. The same system as you have for the Neil 43. Once again, got your topping lift just up here. You release the topping lift, comes down, attach it to your tender, winch it up, pop it on, and away you go. Let's go aboard, shall we? Your emergency tiller is here. And we'll have a look in there in a minute. There's actually two engineering spaces here. So you have your engine here, and this one's actually fitted out with a Volvo Penta 60 horsepower. There are options to upgrade for larger engines if you want. And over there, we'll have a look in a minute when we do the inside you have another access to mechanical space or a workshop however you want to configure it we will start i think over on the port side outrigger pontoon whatever you want to call it this boat is set out with non-slip flexi teak which is excellent you have access to go swimming on a really nice swimming ladder and here before absolutely peace down with rain we've got about 30 knots of wind load of rain coming in you have access look at the size of that how's that for space and that's mirrored on the other side it goes all the way underneath the bench seats so i mean there's just room for well sails fenders you name it fill it up with as much junk if you want paddle boards close that up and we'll go straight in to the port side cabin i think it's awesome nice harken self tailing winch they've been quite clever with the space here i think you have a full double berth as you come in. Emergency access down here. Fantastic. USB charging plus a mains plug and your lights. There is an opening hatch forward. These lovely port lights looking out. There, look at that for a view. This one has been set up with heating or air con. It's reversible so you can have it hot or cold and you have like you had in the 43 for the double you have all this space underneath so if you want to do some aftermarket drawers or build something yourself you can pop it in under there i love that everyone's doing these now and i think they're absolutely brilliant it's just these little details for hooks hanging things up have a look in this locker here and hopefully this side is a hanging locker there we go nice hanging locker and you have shelf space up the top manoeuvre is not bad at all and like all around the door trims all up here it's all all hardwood french oak stainless steel and what's really clever is you have a toilet and a wet heads and the stairs just pop over to the side and you've got your throne which is a clever bit of space. You can close your um, bedroom door, stop water going in there. There's your draining system and your sink, washing area. Hang up your, huh? Pretty neat. I think it's very neat. It'd be nice and comfortable. I don't know what it would be like under passage with the, pontoons with the water you know the if you're if it lifts and 
you know there might be a bit of noise but that I really love let me know in the comments down below what you think we'll do a quick whiz around the outside because I'm getting wet now so you have non-slip all the way forward there's your little opening hatch here and get these open You have a ladder down into here. This is forward of the port cabin, so your bed behind there. And this is actually a watertight bulkhead crash barrier here. But if you wanted, you could put in a nice single in here if you skipper's cabin or something like that, or just have it for storage, sail bag area. But there are pockets for hanging things up. Not bad at all. Nice little space and you could probably plumb in another loo there if you wanted to for the skipper or a sink or extra passengers. It's a nice space. Forward, it's the same as you can see. As I said on the Neil 43, this is actually an aftermarket, an option. They've got the dolphin seats there and they've brought the lines all the way along the lifeline, safety lines to make it more secure. There is more, that's locked, I won't go in there. There's more storage here. You have solar panels here and obviously options to have solar panels all over if you want. Sunbathing area and some tracks, very short tracks I might add, but tracks for a Genoa. Maybe they don't need to be much longer. We'll have a look in here in a minute. You have the option of a cabin, but we'll have a look, I'll show you in a minute. There's your electric windlass. Once again, this has been set up with a single barrel roller. We'll have a look in the space. I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose my hat in a minute. There, your um, bow thruster batteries, and they service, obviously, your windlass. Your anchor chain locker is forward, which is absolutely massive. And you have a ladder that goes all the way down. And that must be at least two meters now. Right. <laughs> Gonna go around on the starboard side quickly because it's very wet. Very wet here at the boat show. And into your helm station, helms area. Really easy to get into, round from the starboard side, and you can come in here, or do just as we had, come through here. So once again, same as the 43, this is all on Dyneema, so it's super sensitive. If anything goes wrong, easy to replace. You have your B&G instruments, Bow thruster is your engine on and off. Quite simple. Wind instruments, autopilot, compass, uh, chain counter, and so on. Once again, all your lines come back from the mast. Everything, everything comes back. You have all your clutches. Two electric, and these are um, two speed, variable speed, parking, self tailing winches. Once again, you have your. So I'll have to get, when we go out, actually get out one one, I'll have to get them to show you how to use it because it is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, electric and handy areas for all your lines. This is a huge seat. Um, I'm quite sure if it was me, I'd prefer it a little bit, well, I'd prefer it a oh, second seat because I'm standing now and I think you've got a much better view standing. Uh, but if you're a tall person, <coughs> but it's not mad. From standing, you can see um, the starboard, uh, your central um, hull. You can see, I don't know if you can, I can see it quite clearly over there. You can see your um, port hull. And coming aft, you can see pretty much, it's not too bad. You'd probably want somebody over here. 
you know, if you're coming onto a pontoon that side, shouting orders. There are a couple of steps up onto the sunbathing area. Me, I'd like to have it all solar, but that's just my preference. Let me know in the comments below what you would have. It's quite a nice soft top. Uh, so you can close it all in to keep yourself out of the weather. And I must admit, I feel really, really protected up here. I'll just pop my head out and you'll see. Once again, really easy to get up to the boom. Main sails here, boom. You know, everything's where you want it. Everything's, everything's in reach. We'll go back down, shall we? Down from the helm station into your outside cockpit area, outside salon, however you want to say it. I have a quick look over on the starboard hull. That pretty much mirrors what you saw on the port hull. If you imagine that Neil have only been around for 10 years, thereabouts. Right. Eating area. I'm sure there's an option to have a drop down table here and the same as on the inside. And this is how the doors change from the 43 to the 47 and up to the 51. As you can see, they close all the way up. When they're fully open, bifold doors go all the way back and lock off. And you have a whole drainage area whether the doors are open or shut, so any water comes in, drains away. Let's have a look if we can get into the mechanical space. Lifts up on gas struts. Here you go, here's your Volvo 60 horse. You can see, have all your filters, all your lines, your exhaust fan system, your starter motor battery. I should imagine if you wanted to, you could probably put another berth in here, it's that big. Here's your Dyneema fuel steering system, and it's two seconds, so it comes directly from the helm over there. Just two pulleys, comes all the way along, two pulleys, and there. And there's your hydraulic and um, ram fuel, um, so pilot and so on. Okay, coming inside into the saloon, you have a table here, reckon you can get eight, ten around here, but what's really nice is you have your inside, outside. Those that are used to catamarans will be used to this, but for me it's quite special. I really like it. You'll see the obvious difference between this and the 43 is all here is your galley, nice big galley, um, Corian worktops, I keep saying it like it's in French, don't know my other videos, Corian, um, you have plenty of storage, this boat's just out of factory, it's brand spanking new, so plenty of drawer, soft clothes as you would expect, you have your stainless steel drawer fridge and freezers here and here which is excellent oven hob and if you have extra solar obviously you can have electric hobs you have a top loading freezer as well which is awesome storage down behind the settees and you have your heaters they're closing everything up because the rain has come the winds have come and it's, <laughs> have a look out there, it, it's really starting to blow. And I must say, from in here, your vision, I'll give you a quick, if I turn too quickly and it makes you feel sick, let me know in the comments below. And if you hit that dislike button, make sure you do it twice to be sure. There, all the way around. Perfect, absolutely perfect vision. You have a uh, forward opening hatch there. If it was me personally, it'd be nice to have another one or two, you know, just to get that air coming in. You have a double stainless steel sink. Gas shut off switch is right here for your cookers, which is handy. You don't have to go searching for it in a cupboard. 
or behind something. You can see, you know, they only just started fitting the finish the fittings. It really is finished for the show. Look at that, nice big drawers. And it's been done nicely. From people that complained before of silicon joints being huge. Look, look at that joint there. It's not like it was six or eight years ago. It's it's brilliant. They've really, really smartened up their game with this boat. It's, it's fantastic. I keep saying that. It's fantastic. I love it. We are going to go. This is central hull. Forward cabin. You have the option to have this as an owner's um, uh, heads. So you would have heads just over here or forward depending on how it is and then a full walk-in shower so it's not a wet heads it's just a full head this particular model has been set up obviously as a four cabin version you have a huge um, double show you how much headroom there is i'm five foot eight you all know that by now there is loads and loads of room just going to flip you around again huge double once again storage underneath you probably can't see very much there but it obviously goes all the way back as as far as the crash bulkhead um the back of the bed there is locker here you can see the pipe work for the heating the air heating air con another cupboard just here huge hanging cupboard so you can see how far down the cupboard goes. It's like a coffin. Put Granny in there, couldn't you? There we go. I'm sure, I'm going to get told off for that. Hanging space, mains plugs. Turn that off for a minute. Huge. So as I said, there's an option to have this as a um, full owner's sweet heads and just over here on the starboard side you have the owner's cabin which is nice full double bed you have access to one side of it um, climb over the other side you have an opening hatch just over here but look at the view Can you imagine you're lying in bed and you've just turned up to the bahamas or you're in the med some greek island not a rainy lower shell looking out there be fantastic beautiful clear blue skies and 30 degrees this is a, a bit of, you can see where they i'll show you where they put the inside nav station for me i'd actually quite like some bits and pieces here you know but that's just me you have a big hanging locker there I'll show you the drawers under the bed in a second you have access to systems up there and as we come out of here you have drawers underneath here and here and one over tucked down over in the corner there on that side over on here this is what I mean you see where okay I get it you know if you're sat here you want a cup of tea coffee while you're on passage you've got your television on the wall or you're editing doing whatever it is you're doing and then all you have to do is look up here and you have all your repeaters all your bits and pieces VHF and all your gubbins there and you can verify what's going on by looking out you know you might not need it in the bedroom but for me i'm lazy i'd rather be sat in there <laughs> on passage but who knows what do i know I have a small little box for bits and pieces and then here's your electric um switchboard for all your lights refrigerator all that sort of bits and pieces okay and just to the side of that is your heads. 
So once again, this is a full wet head. So if you had the option for the cabin down there to have your heads as an owner's head, it's not a wet head, it's a separate shower, very large and spacious. Not that this is small, it's absolutely huge. Electric flush. Um, I will find out from them whether that's a standard option. You have access to your helm stations up there. I'm pretty sure if I open this, not going, yeah, there you go. So access your wheel is here. Got your chain, your Dyneema electrics. Instant access, no messing about. You have your, for your shower. I think it's just missing the hookup point. They obviously haven't put that on. Um, nice curry on top. Seat, rounded edges. Storage underneath. Gonna come out of here. There's loads of room. You get three people in there. Cozy. Close that up. And spin you around a second. And last but not least, the second mechanical space or you can have it as a workshop to make uh there's your um all your water manifolds hot and cold there's a uh, another emergency hatch there which is pretty nifty i suppose a 60 liter um, hot water tank there's loads of space you know, i might have a snooze generator air con system um, water tank or is that fuel tank I'll find out from the guys it's either water tank or fuel tank uh, fuel tank I think and water tank is under my bottom <coughs> let's have a look now there's your fuel tank underneath here and up on the screen you should be seeing the stats of how many litres of water and diesel so that is your water tank you have access to all your electricity, everything smart, it's all nice and clean, all tidy. Pumps, and then space for your battery. All your batteries, you can't really see, I'm in front of the light now. Once again, your uh, Victron um, electric bits and pieces, all nicely done. And here in front of here, I don't know if the camera picks it up, it's actually a, a Perspex screen so you don't accidentally short any of the wires or anything like that. Nifty, huh? And then you'll see that I'm stood in the hole, you have all this space here to put spares, hang things up, extra batteries extra generator extra extra whatever you want there's your controls for your automaker just here but there's just so much space unbelievable absolutely unbelievable as you can see i really like these boats i know we shouldn't be i don't know shouldn't say i like this or i don't like this but i think when you find something you should you like, you should be honest about it, and I like it. There's a lot of space. It would suit me. I love monoholes. Um, I don't have a huge amount of experience with catamarans, but that will come next year because we're going to be going out on quite a few cats, so we'll be able to see the difference. We will be going out and doing a sea trial in a nil sometime next year and we're working with Amel on something which is going to be super cool I'll see you on another boat at La Rochelle Boat Show I'm going to click off about now cheers